This is David Abbott at Buffalo State College, and this is the fourth in a series of videos about the science of sound for the Buffalo Philharmonic Orchestra. Length is not the only way to control the sound of an instrument. I have a simple toy here. The length is fixed. It's just an empty pipe. And I can twirl it over my head at different speeds. What do you think you'll hear as I twirl this faster and faster and faster? You can hear that as I twirled it faster and faster and faster, I got higher and higher notes. But I didn't get any note I wanted. I only got certain ones, right? Oh, oh. But it didn't make any of the ones in between. This idea is called resonance, and the different tones that are produced are called um, overtones or harmonics. This idea is used the, throughout the orchestra. I have my friend Jeff Dees here who will demonstrate how it works on the trombone. When I make a sound on the trombone, air leaves my mouth in an aperture, a little hole, and as I control the opening and closing of this aperture, I can change the notes, whether they be lower or higher. When I keep my slide in one position, I can play a series called the harmonic series, and they only exist in each position. You'll notice, listening to what he just played, when he had the slide all the way up, he could play a whole bunch of different notes. But it sounds like you only chose certain ones. Did you do that on purpose? Or? Nope, those are the only ones that instrument can produce in that position. Okay, so in order to, you, you can select certain notes with it all the way in. Absolutely. And then you move the slide slightly, it lowers where that thing is. Yes. But basically the same thing, you can only play certain ones. Absolutely. They're all the same distance apart, but they are the same distance lower. Yep. Play it again. <laughs> 